Look, maybe I can't think of what you should do, but that doesn't mean there isn't something that would help you. You find it. You think of it. You can keep trying. You can get brave and try some more. You don't have to give up. I'm not giving up. This is the other thing I'm trying, and I'm sure there are some other things that might work, but might work isn't good enough anymore. I need something that will work. This will work. That's why I picked it. But something might happen, something that could change everything. Who knows what it might be, but it might be worth waiting for. Uh, Try it for two more weeks. We could have more talks like tonight. No, Mama. I'll pay more attention to you. Tell the truth when you ask me. Let you have your say. No, Mama. We wouldn't have more talks like tonight because it's the next part that's made this last part so good, Mama. No, this is how I have this is how I have my say this is how I say what I thought about it all and I say no to Dawson and Loretta and the red Chinese and epilepsy and Ricky and Cecil and you and me and and hope I say no just let me go easy mama Uh, how can I let you go you can because you have to it's what you've always done you're my child I am what became of your child. I found an old baby picture of me, and it was somebody else, not me. It was somebody pink and fat who never heard of sick or lonely. Somebody who cried and got fed and reached up and got held and kicked but didn't hurt anybody and slept whenever she wanted to just by closing her eyes. Somebody who mainly just lay there and laughed at the colors waving over her head and chewed on a polka dot whale and woke up knowing some new trick every, nearly every day. <laughs> And rolled over and drooled on the sheet and felt your hand pulling my quilt back up over me. That's who I started out, and this is who is left. That's what this is all about. It's somebody I lost, all right? It's my own self, who I never was, or who I tried to be and never got there. Somebody I waited for who never came and never will. So see, it doesn't matter what else happens in this world or in this house, even. I'm what was worth waiting for, and I didn't make it. Me, who might have made a difference to me i'm not going to show up so there's no reason to stay except to keep you company and that's not reason enough because i'm not very good company am i no and neither am i i had this strange little thought well maybe it's not so strange anyway after christmas after i decided to do this i would wonder sometimes what might keep me here what might be worth staying for and you know what it is It was maybe if there was something I really liked, like maybe if I really liked rice pudding or cornflakes for breakfast or something, that might be enough. Rice pudding is good. Not to me. And you're not afraid? Afraid of what? I'm afraid of it. For for me, I mean, when my time comes, I know it's coming, but... You don't know when, like in a scary movie. Yeah, yeah. Sneaking up on me like some killer on the loose, hiding out in our backyard, just waiting for me to have my hands full someday. And how am I supposed to protect myself anyhow when I I don't know what he looks like and I don't know how he sounds coming up behind me like that or if it'll hurt and take very long or what, what I don't get done before it happens. You've got plenty of time left. I forget what for right now. For whatever happens, I don't know. For the rest of your life, for Agnes burning down one more house, or Dawson losing his hair, or... Jesse, I I can't just sit here and say, okay, kill yourself if you want to. Sure you can, you just did. Say it again. Jesse, how dare you? How dare you? You think you can just leave whenever you want, like you're watching television here? No, you can't, Jesse. You made me... You feel like a fool for just being alive, child, and you're so wrong. I like it here, and I'll stay here until they make me go, until they drag me screaming, and I mean screaming into my grave, and and you're real smart to get away before then because, I mean, honey, you've never heard noise like that in your life. Who am I talking to you? You're gone already, aren't you? I'm looking right through you. I can't stop you because you've already gone i guess you think they'll they'll all have to talk about you now i guess you think this will really confuse them oh yes ever since christmas you've been laughing to yourself and thinking 
boy, are they all in for a surprise. Well, nobody's going to be a bit surprised, sweetheart. This is just like you. Do it the hard way. That's my girl, all right. You know who they're going to feel sorry for? Me. How about that? Not you, me. They're going to be ashamed of you. Yes, ashamed. If somebody asks Dawson about it, he'll change the subject as fast as he can. He'll talk about how much he has to pay to park his car these days. Leave me alone. It's the truth. I should have just left you a note. Yes! Uh, no, no. I might not have thought of all the things you've said. It's okay, Mom. Oh, God. I gotta sit down. I remember you liked that preacher who did Daddy, so if you want to ask him to do the service, that's okay with me. Oh, what? And pick some songs you like, or let Agnes pick. She'll know exactly which ones. Oh, and I had your dress clean that you wore to Daddy's. You look real good in that. I don't remember, hon. And it won't be so bad once your friends start coming to the funeral home. You'll probably see people you haven't seen for years. But I thought about what you should say to get you over that nervous part when they first come in. Come in? Take them up to see their flowers. They'll like that. And when they say, I'm so sorry, Thelma, you just say, I appreciate your coming, Connie. And they ask how the garden was in the summer or what they're doing for Thanksgiving or how their children... I don't think I should ask about their children. I'll talk about what they have on. That's always good. And uh, I'll have some crochet work with me. And Agnes will be there, so you might not have to talk at all. <clears throat> Maybe if Connie Richards does come, I can get her to tell me where she goes to get that Irish yarn, she calls it. I know it doesn't come from Ireland. I, I think it comes just with a green wrapper. And be sure to invite enough people home afterwards so you can get enough food to feed them all and have some left for you. But don't let anybody take anything home, especially Loretta. Loretta will get all the food set up, honey. It's really... Only fair to let her have some macaroni or something. No, Mama, you have to be more selfish from now on. Now, somebody's bound to ask you why I did it, and you just say you don't know. That you love me, and you know I loved you, and we just sat around tonight like every other night of our lives, and then I came over and kissed you and said, Night, Mother, and you heard me close my bedroom door, and the next thing you heard was the shot. And whatever reason I had, well, you guess I just took them with me. It, it was something personal. Good, that's good, Mom. That, that's what I'll say, then. Personal, yeah. Is that what I tell Dawson and Loretta, too? We, we sat around, you kissed me night, Mother. They'll want to know more, Jesse. They won't believe it. Well, then tell them what we did. I filled up the candy jars. I cleaned out the refrigerator. We made some hot chocolate, put the cover back on the sofa. You had no idea, all right? I really think it's better that way. If they know we talked about it, they really won't understand how you let me go. I guess not. It's private. Tonight is private. Yours and mine. And I don't want anyone else to have any of it. You'll have to knock me down to get away from me, Jesse. I'm not about to let you... <sighs> Night, Mother. No! Jesse! Jesse! You let me in there. Don't you do this, Jesse. I'm not going to stop screaming until you, you open the door, Jesse. Jesse, Jesse, what if I, what if I don't do any of the things you told me to do? I'll tell Cecil what a miserable man he was, to, to make you feel the way he did, and I'll give Ricky's watch to Dawson if I feel like it. And the only way you can make sure I do what you what you want is to come out here and and make me, Jesse. Oh, Jesse, stop this. I didn't, I didn't know. I, I was here with you all the time. How could I know you were so alone? Jesse, please. <laughs>